Archaeologists think of an excavation site as a stratified series of deposits, layers and structures. These either build up over time or are cut away by human activities or natural processes known as truncations. These divisions are called stratigraphic units or contexts. As they excavate, archaeologists define and interpret these depositional and truncation events and processes. They record and then remove them, collecting as much data as they can. To understand the depositional sequence, archaeologists record and analyze this stratigraphy using methods set out by Dr. Edward Harris in the 1970s. Harris adapted geological principles to construct rules that explain the way archaeological stratigraphic units relate to one another. He set out four stratigraphic laws of archaeological stratigraphy. Of these, the law of superposition and the law of stratigraphic succession are most relevant to how we use the Harris matrix in practice. The fundamental principle of superposition provides both a spatial and temporal sequence to the stratigraphic units recorded. By understanding stratigraphic relationships using these methods, archaeologists can highlight different types of deposits, cuts or structures, and they can group them by function or spatially as stratigraphic groups or features or spatiotemporally as phases. These spatial groupings and spatiotemporal phases help to inform and structure the narrative of the site and the past.